Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? I pray everybody is well. Let me know in the chat how y'all doing. How was y'all days? How was y'all day, y'all day? It's only one day. <laughs> how are y'all? Let me know in the chat how y'all doing. I'm excited for Mark the Moment tonight. I hope y'all are just as excited as I am because I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm as excited. Um, I don't want to delay the time because I'm a little late getting started anyway. Sorry for that. But, of course, tonight is Mark the Moment, um, where we do a paint and worship with me with Epic Brand LLC, a.k.a. me, Tamia Brashe of Epic Brand LLC. Um, I teach a course at the Refresh Institute um, called Mark the Moment. It is a prophetic uh, art or prophetic drawing and painting class. Um, so if you're and today, you want to woo-sai, you want to, you know, expand your creativity, you want to learn a few things, come to the Refresh Institute and register. Um, you can register at, and I'm going to put this in the chat, you can register at www.refreshglobalnfp.org slash the Refresh Institute. That's where you can register for the course um, and take it with me this spring semester. You have until January 20th, I believe, to, um, you know, register. So I hope that you guys will join me in that. I'm really excited about what um, the Lord, well, for one, let's start with the fact that the Lord has really been doing something in me um, in terms of my art. Like he, he's really been, he's really been like, you know, uh, challenging me to expand my learning and all those great things, right? Like he's been challenging me and expanding me so that I am studying and learning even more when it comes to my art um, and really investing that time and stuff in it that's necessary and so i'm excited to share the things that i'm learning even as i'm preparing to teach with you guys um i'm excited excited to share it with y'all definitely excited to share it with y'all um so definitely go register for mark the moments you know learn a few things and maybe you learn something new. Hopefully you'll learn something new. That is my goal, that you'll learn something new and have a new tool to engage in um, when it comes to, you know, prayer, worship, gatherings, or even just life, right? You want to mark the moment um, that you met with the Lord. But I'm not going to delay the time. Uh, I do have a painting um, that I kind of want to do on here with you guys. I um I have a lot of canvases like because I buy them in bulk, right? Um, I buy them in not okay. I won't say in bulk because when you say in bulk, you think like you know really, really, really large amounts. But I buy them uh in the sense like in packs, so like five packs. Um, the smaller ones are sometimes like seven packs. So like I buy them like that from michael's um so i always even though i haven't bought any in a while like for myself sometimes i have a lot of canvases left over um so i would normally use those but i said that today i actually want to use i went to um i didn't buy nothing fancy or nothing like that but i did go to um dollar tree actually to get some canvases because y'all don't sleep don't don't sleep on dollar tree they really do be having like they really they really do be having stuff so especially if you like are starting and you don't want to you know spend like an insane amount of money and you're just starting you don't even know how good you are at this thing 
definitely recommend going to Dollar Tree, but I just went there and I got, um, I wanted to do something a little different. I normally would do like a larger painting or like a, um, 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 canvas painting. Um, but today I wanted to do something a little different, um, on a different canvas. So I went to Dollar Tree and I got this three pack of panels. Um, it's canvas panels versus the actual canvas. So the panels are thinner. Uh, it's like a, you know, literally like a panel sheet. They're thinner than the actual canvas. It's usually stretched. Um, the cloth is usually stretched around a wooden frame. Um, and so you can see like that little, you know, space and dip there. But when it comes to panels, they are thinner. They're thinner. Um, so I wanted to do something like that. Try to do like a, um, like a effect of like, you know how when you, when you are like, when you got like paintings and stuff like that, right? You get them and it's like three different paintings in one kind of thing. Like it's like, or not three different, but like it's three parts to one painting. So like you paint it whole, but then you, you're able to pull apart and separate it on the wall. And people like de use it to decorate their homes and stuff like that in three different pieces. And it adds like, it adds like that extra aesthetic, you know what I'm talking about? Like, like that. So I wanted to uh do something like that to kind of see, you know, how it'll go. Um, I did get like some double sided tape from Dollar Tree as well, just to my goal is to try to stick them stick them together while I'm working on them. Um, so that when I paint over the paint, don't just go between, you know, between my, my, my utensils and stuff or on my, uh, easel, my table easel. Um, and it just, they stay together. For that time being and then i can you know go to what it is i need to go to after that or something like that so we're going to see how this idea turns out and if it works and if it don't work we're gonna make it work because that's what we do we mark in the moment nothing gonna stop us from marking the moment okay Okay, so I have my three panels. I've put them. I had two, three packs, so I use this to show y'all the pack that I got. And there's three in there, but this I opened more and I had two. So here's that. It's pretty. It's sticking pretty decent for now. I can work with that. I really can. I can work with that. I can't work with that. And so, one of the things, uh, first let me start off by praying with this part. So, Father, I thank you. I thank you for this day. I thank you, Father, for uh, you allowing me, God, to even make it up into this point. Father, I honor your name and I give you glory and praise. I thank you. Um, I'm so grateful to you, Father, for this opportunity, for the gifts and talents, Father, that I'm using to um, edify your people and show your people a different way of speaking with you and of handling life with you. God, I thank you and I honor your name. Um, Father, I ask that you would speak, have your way in this paint and worship setting. Father, lead my hands, lead their hands, Father, as they paint with me. Um, lead my stro brush strokes, uh, colors, everything. Father, I give you full and complete control um, to do what it is that you will have me to do. In your son Jesus' name, I pray these things. Amen. So, um, the idea that I kind of, I was like, okay, what am I supposed to paint? Um, I have two ideas, but one is for something else that I have to make a video for. And then the other one came to me a little bit earlier today, maybe yesterday. It might've been yesterday that I had this idea. Um, but in my faith community, we had 6 a.m. prayer a couple weeks ago. And one of the things that the Lord was showing us or revealing to us was the cloud. 
um, the glory cloud. Like we were in the glory cloud. And even though we couldn't, it was like a whirlwind, a tornado. Like, y'all, it was a whole, it was a whole look. You dig it, right? But um, it was the glory cloud. And talking about how uh, we are in it and not to leave it, you know, because it doesn't look clear by our definition, right? We're in the glory cloud with the Lord. And so uh, that's been a, a constant thing. Um, and if you watch Morning Meets with God as well, Apostle Rain talked about um, clouds this morning in a sense of the enemy's trying to pervert the glory cloud, right? And so one of the things that um, I had the idea to paint was the cloud, not the perverted cloud, because we don't agree with that, but the glory cloud, um, like clouds in that sense. And so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. I am going to try my best um, to show you guys like my progress and stuff like that. Excuse me and show you what it is I'm doing um, so that like you guys can see kind of, you know, the process as I'm doing it. I'm going to I'm I'm. I would say I would use my easel, but sometimes that'd be a little hard because I paint like I write. So I can't write upward like that, like I can on the wall if I'm really needing to. But I prefer to write like this down. And it's the same with painting. So it's the same with painting. And so, like, y'all, I, I can try to, I can... You know, try to show y'all the best way I can. Um, next time, I will definitely try to have, I will have like two cameras set up. Two cameras. So I can show y'all both at the same time. That would be awesome. But as of right now, these panels are also small. So using my um easel is kind of like a little shaky because they are small and I have to be, uh, sensitive with how I am using you know that so that I'm um, um, sensitive with how I'm using it so that you know it don't get all over the place because it's small I want all the paint to go on the on the paint <laughs> uh, on the canvas not on the paint so I got like a, a container of brushes. Um, my brushes are summer from these are Otters Loft, um, which means they are from this one's Craft Smart, which means that some of these, all of these sets, honestly, are probably from Michaels. I love Michaels. They're from Michaels. Um, it's just a bunch of different sets that I use or have put in this container you know to use when i need them so i'm gonna go with that and start with my uh, painting guys and so my thing the thing that i'm kind of seeing is like a i'm gonna try to describe it it's like a you know when the sun's setting and the sky is not necessarily blue but it's that like light pink orange is purplish color and then it's about it's like that so let's see how this goes okay let's see how this goes i'm gonna try to turn it a little bit more and that'll probably help too <laughs> So you guys can see a little bit more, maybe. Let's see. I'm going to try to see. I'll take this one down. See if I could do this. I'll put that right there and use this. Thank you, guys. Let's mark the mark. With Chef Epic Brand LLC, um, register for the Refresh Institute. Registrations open. There we go.
that can work, y'all. That could work. So y'all could see what I'm doing and everything. Um, I'm gonna try to make sure I'm turning, you know, correctly so y'all can see what's what's happening and going on in this hip painting. So you guys ready? Um, I am going to play one of my favorite albums is Refresh uh Refresh Worship Live 3.3 by Summer Rain and the Refresh team. I don't own the rights to this music. So I'll play that and you guys get your get your utensils. Get your utensils. Get ready. Join me, y'all. Let's see. Let's see what happens, okay? Let me see. I wanna start with I don't this not this too bright <laughs> i need a softer pink i may have to make it which is fine with me color mixing is part of painting too let's see pink blossom i use pink blossom oh found it y'all got a light pink Shake it up. Sometimes it get a little lumpy. I'm gonna need a white. White. These sets are from uh, Michaels. They have like the little, I think it's some are like six packs, some are four, some are 12, 24, 32, 48. Like they have a lot of different um size packs you could get with a bunch of different colors so over time i've built up my painting um utensils or colors supply because i buy like the sets sometimes i'll get repeats but not not too much often if you're just joining me let me know in the chat let me know how you're doing how your day was what you up to if you're gonna join me in painting tonight or if you're just gonna you know sit and watch either way is okay either way is okay with me see sometimes i get doubles but either one is okay i need like a softer orange too this one will work, but it's a little bright. So what I would do to soften it is like add a little bit of white paint, mix it, make it just a tad bit softer. If I can't find like a baby pink, I mean baby pink, baby orange. I don't know if that's a thing, but we gonna find out. And if not, I'ma just mix a little white with it, make it a little better. That'll help. Looking like I'm gonna have to mix it, y'all. Looking like I'm gonna have to mix it, which is perfectly fine. Now I'm gonna use this brush. I like, I like, this one's a little bit rougher. So I like to use the smoother brushes. It glides a little more better. It glides better. Let me use this one. I don't have that much white though. I wish I had a little more white. That means I need to go buy a bottle <laughs> of white. <laughs> 
just white because not all the packs come with white you can choose but because I use white like you know more than other colors I usually need a bigger a bigger bottle of white it's a little bit of head dust I'll be good for now This works. And mixing it. Let me see if this works. I don't want it to fall, y'all. <laughs> I don't want it to fall. Y'all see what I mean? There's like three different can candles and stuff. A few pieces of dry paint coming up. I'm gonna try to use some ivory to substitute for some of my white paint. Cause it's a little. I don't have as much. I don't want to use all of it. It adds the softer tone to the yellow or uh, the orange paint, though. But honestly, it might work a little better. Let's see. Or work with it, not better. To work with it. See what I mean with the cracks? I don't have to clean my brush for two because I'm blending the colors, so I don't want the off the brush completely, so I'm going to do that part. Y'all see how soft the colors are? That's the softness. Softness in the cloud. Even though it's not as clear as we would want it to be, it's still soft because it's the presence of the Lord. It's His glory. Crazy part is, y'all, we did a whole paint that Sunday uh, afternoon later. We did do a whole paint session. So I have two other paintings. Um, I could post them. I have two other paintings that I did that day. But this image is different. 
from that one reminder, like from like from warning me to God, uh, adding more to the angle that Apostle Rain was talking about this morning. From warning me to God, like this is the updated vision that I kind of saw with it. So let's see. I mean, I need to create that color good. It was eyeballing me, y'all. It's not always easy. I don't know the Lord for that. It's good. It's not, you know, there's a clear blue, but it's not completely invisible kind of thing. I'll probably close out, uh -oh, close out this A part and wear the ivory and without like the orange structure, kind of like that. And it still has like traces of blue and stuff in it. Still got traces of blue and orange, so it's all blending together. It's all blending together. Let me know in the chat, y'all, if you are painting with me. You know what you're painting, if you are painting with me. Or if you're just watching, if you're just watching, that's fine. But also, let me know what brought you here or what's keeping you engaged or what you would like to even see on Mark the Moment. Let me know what you would like to see. That would be helpful. and blend. I'm gonna use actual orange though, but in a, a little bit. So it'll be like, it'll stand out for when it blends and that'll be too bad. 
Y'all see that tent? Look at that. Y'all see that? So here's the thing, y'all. Honestly, this is the majority of the painting. Now I just gotta wait for it to really dry, honestly. So I could, well, not dry completely, but dry enough for me to put, um, dry enough for me to put like the, I'm gonna use like a little, do I have a sponge brush? I should have a sponge brush. If not, I could use like a piece of cotton or something. But um, I'm going to make, gonna make it uh, like clouds. Make some clouds. I think they're gonna connect. Gotta get the corners of the painting for the sides. Sides and the corners. Hands get all messy. That's part of being an artist. This acrylic paint it washes off pretty easily. I'm gonna try to paint the sides of each panel so the space don't look too obvious between them, like if you handle on the wall or something. Like that. Mm -mm. I was using ivory, my orange paint, you know, my clothes. Yeah, you would think I would normally have, like, painting clothes, but I don't really like that. For the most part, I paint on my regular clothes. Or I normally probably would have, like, a t-shirt or something, so I wouldn't get on my clothes that bad, but it's okay. It's acrylic. It washes out for the most part. We're covering our edges so that when you look at the painting in the panel form, they're not all, you know, the space isn't as obvious. It's not as obvious. It's not as obvious when you come, when you look between them. That's all. Like, add some, it'll add more, like, dimension to it almost. And then here is the, it dries quick on his hand when you do on the canvas. The acrylic dries fairly easy, so I ain't worried about it like that, like that. Next, I'm going to use this light pink. I'm shaking vigorously. I'm going to use this and blend it with like some white with a sponge brush to make, if I could find my sponge brush, I'm going to use it to make the clouds. Like it, it's easier than trying to paint them on. And they'll look more realistic. So, hold fast while I find me some, okay, while I find my sponge brushes. <laughs> I can use it to make it work. Got my paintings. I got a few. Actually, I finally got me some Posca markers. Those are wonderful. And they dry quick. They're acrylic.
It's drying really nicely, so I'm just waiting for it to dry a little bit more. So I can do the part. These are good for signing your paintings when you like when you're done. For that. They're really good for that. I will probably use though. I don't know if I will use a black one. I mean, because it doesn't blend like, as well with the thing. But I got other colors too. So we're going to see which ones work better with the color scheme I got. For work, period. There's a blue one I can always try. Let's see. It's been a long time since I bought these or even used them. So. Honestly, I'll probably use black though. That, the black one seems to be working a little better. It should be dry enough, so I'm gonna take my sponge brush. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna use the light pink with some white to make the clouds, okay? That should be good. Easier to clean up if you put things back where they go. When you're done with it, right? I'm gonna hold it. I'm not gonna hold it like this though, because I don't want it to stamp like that. I want it to be like a dab situation. So I'm going to dip it in the paint a little bit. And it's white too. It can't be too much because then it'll like. I see, kind of see the effect I'm going for. I'm going to add a little more pink stuff or a little more white to the pink. So you can see. So, like. It's a little more difficult to do with this kind of brush. The brush I was using. The other time I did this was, it was a sponge, but it wasn't a brush. So to have the hook, I was able to squeeze and dab a little easier than I am able to right now. But that's okay. People make it right. Here's the thing though, the cloud, it was like a fog, y'all. Kinda how we were seeing it all collectively in a moment. But adding to the two moments that these things were experienced.
but I can't do too much of that. I really like that because it don't, it's ivory on the canvas, so it's not going to stand out as much. So I'll have to use some more of this pink and white. Like that. Squeeze out as I'm going to put it back. Sorry, the paint off my hand. Cause it's falling. parts this down here because the pink blends really well with that. I didn't know that. I'm gonna use some more for that part. Is, Cause there's no such thing as a perfect cloud, right? So, there you go. Say I am done. I am going to sign them. Or I'll sign them later when they drive in here. Definitely sign them a little better. A little more. Send in my camera again, and I'm going to bring this and focus so you can see. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think of them. I think they turned out pretty great. And then, so, uh oh, oh no, y'all. They fell down. They fell down. <laughs> Lucky for me, I used acrylic. So, that was a good moment for me to, to bring, like, the individual panels. So, each one is its own little picture. But you can bring them together when necessary. You see that? Yeah, see how amazing this is?
I'm definitely going to. I've been horrible with like taking the pictures and posting them the way that I'm supposed to. I have. But I'm going to do better, y'all, because I have to post these and give language and stuff like that because it's necessary. But I am. I'm going to hold it on. Hopefully, they'll drop it. Okay, I'm going to hold it. Y'all see this? Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love it. I love it. Um, so that moment, the Lord has been marked as he's been talking about clouds. So that's amazing for me, um, for you, for everybody, and being in the cloud of the Lord. Um, and I was excited to share this with you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you got to paint a little bit, worship a little bit, um, you know, yourself. And enjoy like this beautiful, beautiful artwork. Oh, I really hope y'all love it. And remember, go register for Mark the Moments. Um, there will be a lot of these being done in the class, so it'll be a lot of uh, in lab or hands-on things happening. So I'm excited, y'all. Go on and register right here. This the website. You can register up until January 20th, I believe. And this has been Mark the Moments Painting Worship with me, y'all. Join me in the, well, follow me on, on my epic pages because I'm pretty sure I'll be posting before the end of the year. Um, just some of the things in the recap of the year and, you know, stuff like that. So definitely join me right here. Follow me uh, at Epic Brand LLC on Facebook, YouTube, and even Instagram, TikTok. It's always B underscore epic. So you can go on and follow me over there. And see what we can do for each other, what we can learn with one another. I'm excited um, for what the Lord is doing with me, with Epic. And I look forward to seeing what's to come. So I want, I don't want y'all to miss nothing. Stay up to date. Um, our website is www.epicbrandllc.com. Um, so if you want to keep in touch and find out all the wonderful things that we are doing, doing you can stay up to date with us on our website email you could text us if you need to um or call and we're readily available so stay tuned for all the wonderful things epic has and go register at the refresh institute for mark the moments okay okay it was fun i have fun with y'all tonight i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments even after this live ends let me know in the comments you know what you thought what you did what you saw all those wonderful things i would love to hear it and as always remember to always be epic my name is tamia brochet have an epic evening bye